So you want to get the best armor in Valheim to get that sweet 96 armor resistance. Well in this guide I'll show you exactly how to get full padded armor which is surprisingly easy to craft. All you need is iron and linen thread which I'll show you how to get in this video. All I ask in return is that you smash that like button with the force of 10,000 suns. Step 1. First you need to get the iron ingots which you can find in the swamp biome that looks like this on the map. You can find muddy scrap iron within the crypts, it needs to be mined from these giant deposits. After you've collected lots of muddy scrap iron you can then turn it into iron ingots using a smelter and coal. I've already done a full guide on exactly how to get iron ingots, linked below if you're struggling or if you're new to the game. I highly recommend watching that before this video. Step 2. Next we need to get some linen, so to do that we need to gather some flax. But I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited flax because you can actually grow it as well. Please listen very carefully to this part because the only way to obtain flax in Valheim is within the plains bio. It looks like this on the map, kind of like a light beige deserty area and it has lots of rolling hills and grassy plains. It looks rather beautiful but it's extremely dangerous. Once you reach the plains biome, you're going to need to find falling camps. Fullings are kind of like goblins and they hit like trucks. But within their camps, you will find small patches of cultivated land that's already growing either flax or barley. I recommend picking up both, whichever you come across, because you will need them later on in the game anyway. But we specifically are looking for the flax. Each plot of cultivated land will contain 14 to 20 flax plants growing in that one spot and each one is going to give you two flax each. So it's pretty easy to rack up a lot of flax very quickly. There are two methods for getting the flax safely from the falling villagers. Option one is to kill the falling camp inhabitants one by one at range until you can safely enter the camp. However, there's usually a ton of enemies in these camps, including the falling berserkers and the falling shamans that can cast magical wards and fireballs at you that also do a ton of damage. But by stealth attacking and picking them off one by one from a distance, Using the Draga Bow, which I already made a video on how to obtain, link down below in the description. It has built-in poison damage and then you can add your arrow damage on top of that. You'll be able to take out the Phalanx pretty effectively. But option two is to just run into the camp and steal their flax as quickly as possible and then just run away. Don't even bother wearing armor, just go in there with pretty much nothing, grab all the flax you can and then run away really quickly. You'll end up with a whole army of Fullings probably running after you, but even if you die on your way back, you can just come back and gather the flax later. Step 3. How to get unlimited flax so we can get unlimited linen. You can just process the flax you just found into linen, but I highly suggest that you instead create a flax farm, and then you'll never need to go hunting for flax again. You'll have an unlimited supply of it. But very, very important, flax can only be grown in the plains biome. You cannot grow it in the meadows or the dark forest or anywhere else in the game. Only in the plains biome. Yes, our lives would be so much easier if we could grow it anywhere else but in the plains. With all this stuff trying to kill us. But don't worry my friends, I will show you how to create an indestructible farm in the plains biome. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. All you need to do is flatten an area of land using a hoe ready to farm. Next you're going to want to get a pickaxe and start mining a trench all the way around the edge of what will soon be your farmyard. This ditch is going to be big enough so that the enemy AI cannot path around it or enter your farm at all. In fact you just want the ditch to surround the entire farm area because you yourself can easily just jump in, as I'll show you in a moment. Since we're building within the ditched area, everything inside it is going to be completely safe from any enemies. You're going to want to hang onto the stone that you're mining here while you're digging this trench, by the way. After the trench is finished, you're going to want to build a stone wall around the inside of the trench. So as you guys can see, there is literally no way anyone can get inside our base right now. Only we can get in by jumping and no enemies can jump that far 
or have any way of getting up here either. If you fall in the ditch, by the way, don't worry. If you just sprint and spam jump, you can actually easily climb out. Even if it's on a flat surface like this, you can just carry on jumping and you can climb out like that. So don't worry about getting stuck in your own base. The next thing we're going to do is build a short wall around the edge just so any enemies with spears cannot actually hit us. This will stop any ranged attacks from the enemies outside while you're farming or crafting. And since we've built that ditch, no enemies can attack the walls. This means the farm will be 100% safe to enemy attacks. So as you can see, our farm is completely impenetrable. Nothing can attack it. It's absolutely indestructible too, because obviously all the walls are carved out of the mountain themselves. Now to start actually farming the flax itself, what you first need to do is craft a cultivator at a workbench made with bronze and core wood. If you don't know where to get bronze, I've already made a video linked down below in the description about how to do that. Once you've crafted a cultivator, you can start cultivating the ground to plant your flax in. It works exactly the same way as a hoe does. You just right click and if you have flax in your inventory, you can click to start planting it. Just don't plant the flax too close together, otherwise some of them will grow really slowly. So try and space them out a little bit. The game will tell you if they're too close together, but don't worry too much if they are. The flax will only take a few days to grow, and after it does, each flax that you grow can actually be farmed for two flax each. So always make sure that you replant half of the flax that you grow, and you'll never run out of flax. It's as easy as that. Step four, how to turn flax into linen thread. First, you need to build an artisan table. To do this, you need 10 wood and two dragon tears, which are dropped from the fourth dragon boss, Moda. I've already made a guide on how to easily kill it linked in the description below. The boss actually drops 20 dragon tears in total and you only need two to craft the artisan table. So now you have one, you can now craft yourself a spinning wheel, which you need to process the flax into linen thread. You need 20 fine wood, 10 iron nails and 5 leather scraps. Once you've crafted the spinning wheel you can deposit 40 flax at once into it and then each flax that you put in will give you one linen thread. Alright so let's go ahead and forge the padded cuirass, padded graves and padded helmet. As you can see the padded cuirass only requires 10 iron and 20 linen thread. It also gives us 26 armor, so it's like level 4 iron armor, apart from we can also upgrade it even further for only 3 more iron, and then 6 iron, and then 9 iron to level 4. And in total the padded curious gives us 32 armor at level 4, compared to the wolf armor which only gives us 26. Next let's craft the padded greaves which start off at 26 armor. And then if we go ahead and fully upgrade them as well for literally just a few pieces of iron which is a lot easier than upgrading the wolf armor which requires a ton of silver. As you can see fully upgraded level 4 padded greaves gives us 32 armor. And then finally we have the padded helmet which starts off at 26 armor. So in total, the full padded armor set gives us 96 armor. The only drawback over the silver armor is that it does not give us resistance versus frost, which is why I recommend keeping the wolf fur cape, which does give you resistance versus frost. I already made a video about how to craft the wolf armor if you guys are interested. That includes how to get the wolf fur cape. 